This is the kitchen of Gavin's grandma's house in Walkley, Sheffield. And this is Gavin. He's 17, and he's busy making a snack he and his best friend invented. The double-decker jam sandwich. Three slices of bread, different jam in each deck. They looked into patenting it, but it turns out it's complicated. Behind Gavin, a figure looms in the frosted glass of the back door. Oh. I have returned. Edge! Hello, mate. Do you want a jam sandwich? Hi, Gavin. No, I don't want a jam sandwich. OK. What jams? Top deck blackcurrant, bottom deck raspberry. Yeah, no. I have returned. Yeah. Shouldn't you still be at uni? Yes, that's what I'm saying. I have returned to ask you one question. You? Ask me? Yes. Well, I won't know, will I? You'll know this one. I bet I don't, unless it's about Ferrari. It's not about Ferrari. But you will know it. Just listen to the question, OK? OK. The question is this, and think carefully. Are you prepared, Gavin Atby, to follow me anywhere and obey my orders without question? No. No? No. Is that the right answer? Because obviously I do most things, but what if you said jump off a bridge? Why would I say that? Well, I don't know. Nan's always saying that. She says, I suppose you'd jump off a bridge if Pitch told you to. And I say, no, I wouldn't. I don't suppose it occurred to either you or to your grandmother in the course of your little philosophical discussions that if I did ask you to jump off a bridge, there'd very likely be an excellent reason. Like what? I don't know. Like, the bridge was overrun by wolves. Oh, no. Yes, you see. You were working without all the data, weren't you? Yeah, sorry, Pidge. Can't we just run off the other end, though? There's wolves at both ends, OK? Oh, no.